Summer Wind by William Cullen Bryant It is a sultry day. The sun has drank the dew that lay upon the morning grass. There is no rustling in the lofty elm that canopies my dwelling. And its shade scarce cools me. All is silent, save the faint and interrupted murmur of the bee, settling on the sick flowers and then again instantly on the wing. The plants around feel the two potent fervors. The tall maize rolls up its long green leaves. The clover droops its tender foliage and declines its blooms. But far in the fierce sunshine tower the hills, with all their growth of woods, silent and stern, as if the scorching heat and dazzling light were but an element they love. Bright clouds, motionless pillars of brazen heaven, their bases on the mountains, their white tops shining in the far ether fire the air with a reflected radiance and make turn the gazer's eye away. For me, I lie languidly in the shade where the thick turf, yet virgin from the kisses of the sun, retains some freshness and I woo the wind that still delays its coming. Why so slow, gentle, and voluble spirit of the air? Oh, come and breathe upon the fainting earth coolness and life. Is it that in his caves he hears me? See on yonder woody ridge, the pine is bending its proud top. And now among the nearer groves, Chestnut and oak are tossing their green boughs about. He comes, low where the grassy metal runs and waves. The deep distressful silence of the scene breaks up with mingling of unnumbered sounds and universal notion. He has come, shaking a shower of blossoms from the shrubs and bearing on their fragrance and he brings music of birds and rustling of young boughs and sound of swaying branches and the voice of distant waterfalls. All the green herbs are stirring in his breath. A thousand flowers by the roadside and the borders of the brook nod gaily to each other. Glossy leaves are twinkling in the sun as if the dew were on them yet and silver waters break into small waves and sparkle as he comes. <laughs>